So tell me a little bit about Omelo. Oh, look, look like my skin on too much. More make sure <laughs> so everybody body look good. <laughs> yeah, I'll make sure to think. Why? Everybody, what's up? It's your girl China K, and welcome to a special edition of the On My Mind series. I'm still here in yes. Albuferia, Portugal, and I am having a blast. I got a chance to check out Lisa Mercedes' performance, and it was lit. <laughs> And for those of you who don't know who she is, she is UK's top yes. dancehall artist. Yes. I decided to have a pool day, so let's chill out with her and learn a little bit more about her music. Hey! hey you. <laughs> this is your first time in Portugal? Yeah, first time. Oh, and it's really good, like the weather is amazing. It's like I'm in Jamaica. <laughs> it's like proper hot tent. Because I'm from, I'm originally from Jamaica, but I live in London for like okay. 17 years. And like London is like, whenever you're there, it's like, you just feel down in the press because the, the weather alone just make you just feel down. What I've noticed when I first met you is you're very bright, yeah. very vibrant, <laughs> very outgoing. When I see the glasses, very though. colorful. <laughs> very colorful, yeah. So, was this always Lisa Mercedes? Yeah, always Lisa Mercedes. From you see Lisa Mercedes, you see color, very colorful. I'm always in green hair, pink, <laughs> orange, red. Yeah. I remember when I was like 10 years old, I put Kool Aid in my hair to try oh and make it gosh. red. And my dad proper spanked me like I mixed the Kool Aid with water. And my dad came back and see some red <laughs> things in my hair. He gave me some lick. <laughs> so from ever since, I always wanted to be bright. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, well it's not a bad thing in today's society. It's not a bad thing. So how did you get the name Lisa Mercedes? Oh god, long story. Yeah. We're ready right, about ten. So I've got this obsession with Mercedes. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be so funny, right? So my dad used to drive one of them old. Is it 190 Eden Old Benz? Mm -hmm. And then he used to be so obsessed with it. I think because of him, I became obsessed. <laughs> Every Sunday, used to get up and wash the car and wipe it down. And as a child, um, even though I can still remember as a child, he used to say to me, Them cars is one of the best cars you could have ever had. And I'm like, <laughs> Oh God, Dad, you're in this stupid car every day, cleaning it up. And I remember my stepmom used to cuss him as well, saying like, right. he takes more interest in the car than her. So how do you go from Lisa Mercedes to music? You know, once you're Jamaican, you basically, you grew up around dance and music. And really man them something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So my cousin used to work at Mix and Lab Studio, and I used to go there and look for her sometimes. And then she used to be around the man them, and I used to go there and that. Uh, Sometimes I used to be so cheek like in my uniform. I used to go to mixing lab and she's like, Where do you go on the cheese? And she's a me. But then yeah, I used to love this old vibe in it. Mm -hmm. Like and then I remember in primary school, I used to like on lunch break, I used to like just go hang out with the friends and like be, be you know, jump the kids, be the table yes, and BJ like some little yeah, something. Yeah. Yes, it's been from day one, I've been like, you know what? And Lady Patrick, she really inspired me. Yes. She's my girl, man. I always say I wanna be like Lady Patrick one day. And I used to be so obsessed with her. I used to DJ her lyrics every day, like, Murder me right, I mean, I take back my chat to shuffle it at me, I used to beat the drum, I used to go on at school, and so from Jamaica, I've got that in me. Murder me right, I mean, I take back my chat, shuffle it at me, I the queen in the park. First, I met this guy called Manager, and then he said to me, there's a guy called Stalogy, he's looking for a female artist to become first lady warning crew. Okay. Yeah, so that's in London. Right, so Stalys is like the biggest dancehall artist in London. And um, I said, okay, that's cool, wicked. So I went there, met up with Styler. And um, I was doing music before, so he heard some of my stuff on YouTube. And he's like, yeah, you sound good, blah, blah, blah. So I ended up in Warning Crew, and that's where it started. Who are the baddest female in England? Lisa, live long. Any female want to tell them if you step in the ring, ding dong. What is the dance hall scene like in London? Because from listening to your music and checking it out, I realized it's more like hip hop kind of dance hall vibe. So what's the difference between strictly yard dance hall and dance hall in the UK? So I can j jump in any beat and just kill it. So I jump in hip hop beats, grime beats, mm -hmm. speak my own dance hall music over grime beats. So that's why that kind of made me different in the UK. But then obviously living in London, you have to do that. Because okay. London's like really like a grime, the grime culture. Right. London, when you hear of London, you know grime, in it, grime music. So me being in London for like 16 years, I just end up being used to grime music and used to all the beats. So once I hear it, I'm like, you know what? I'm so versatile, so I know that I could just pick on a grand beat and just kill it. Just pick bashment lyrics and jump on a hip hop beat, 
shot in batchment and kill it as well. Little bitch, we a win some bigs. Pussy gala lose, look on my shoes. Plus my full of gala, me a karma cruise. When you know, say, yo, shit, Lisa Mercedes, like, my hot in the blood club. Yeah. When, did you, when did you have that moment? <laughs> you know, sometimes the fans, though, trust me. Yeah? Big up to my fans, them. More time I get some, like, mad, like, in my DM, I see some message, like, oh, you're so bad, blah, blah, blah. And um, the world needs to know about you. I'm not even lying. My supporters, they proper, they're the ones that make me keep on going. Do you have a name if for them? If it wasn't for them, <laughs> BGC, Boss Girl Circle. I just call all oh, of them my Boss fuck. Girl. BGC. Damn. If it was for them, sometimes I would give up. But sometimes I check my messages and like YouTube comments. I'm like, raw. Oh. Yeah, my life. They going. pop up with me. Like, yeah. Lisa, make a spin off your money, boy. Give me everything. Spin, spin off your money, boy. Him said a good body, yeah, for me. So you know who a wife when you see me. You see me. I'm kind of getting a little tipsy right now. Yeah. <laughs> so can me we go too. to the pool? Can we go to the pool? Yeah. Everything the man want, give me. Everything the man want give me. Everything the man want give me. Me make that good pump pump your chat for me. So tell me a little bit about your latest single right now. Right. So my latest single is called Badness. Badness. More fire, more fire, more fire. And then we are more fire. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah. Yeah, well, check it, it out. It. Check it out for YouTube. It's called Badness, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Nice. All right, so I heard you spit a Bodak Yellow remix. Yeah. Where you know, the song that I got too hard. I'm not like, Cardi, big up yourself. I have to put a little Jamaican twist to it. I know Spice, though, I like a little virgin. Big up Spice, but you don't know. I have to do my raw virgin. Mm -hmm. Yo, little bitch, we are win some big pussy gala lose. Look on my shoes, plus my full of gala like me. I call my crews, them not have a clue. Them my screw, tell some oh gal go farm my crew. Me alone, we take them on, and plus my love the drama too. Ah, oh, who read them know about Thompson Penn and Arborview? Yo, wanna check out the rest for YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's lit. All right, so can we have a little girl talk? Come here, sweetie. Come, come, have a little girl talk. All right, so I have a friend, right? Mm -hmm. And she's going through some issues where she's supposedly in a committed relationship. But, you know, I'm of a side man. Like, 2017-18 relationships aren't what they, you know, what they used to be. They're not committed no, they're not anymore. No, so should I tell her to accept the fact that, you know, he's with somebody else? Or, like, what do I say? Mm. You know the song? She play, way. listen, she play this song no, every day. It's called Z-Girl. Is it S-Z-A? Yeah, no, like, What's that girl called? Oh, yeah, yeah. Z, the, the Weekend song. Yeah, 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 yeah that's your favorite track. Weekend. Yeah, that one. Basically, I feel like you either, if you know saying cheating and you accept it, keep your mouth shut and just accept it. Hey, don't accept it like, already, actually. Stop the drama and the fuckers. Just go on with your life. And if you don't accept it, leave him off. Leave him, yeah. I'm gonna live your life. Mm -hmm. But like he gives her everything. So it's like, what should she do mm -hmm. in a situation like that? Like, should she stay or? Me personally, I'll just stay. I'm confident. Once me, I get everything, me, I stay. Everything the man want, give me. Me make that good pump, pump your chat for me. Not go nobody else, nobody. Me, I stay red buttons. And what should I get? A shopping should I get? <laughs> All right, yep. you guys, my interview with Lisa Mercedes is a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed our little turn up cool day. Is there anything you'd like to tell my fans and followers before you go? Right, so make sure to follow me, Lisa Mercedes. <laughs> Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And look out for me. I'm coming for you guys. BGC to the world. Hey, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>